Actually, I'm not even gonna go with an intro. I think we all know where it's going at this point. Monica, we've been waiting for you. It's not like you to be late to a club meeting. It appears that you've brought some new members with you too. Seriously, Monica, you brought a boy? Well, at least you found another girl too. Oh, so they brought, so she reset the universe again. What does this make me feel so small compared to the rest of you? Oh, I... Hello, you two. It's been a while. Bip. I'm sorry for what I did before. I'm sorry for inadvertently putting you in another situation uh, just like that af soon after. But now that I'm here, everything should be stable. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I'm glad you two are safe now. Skeet de bat beef. How is he so carefree, bud? Bella's just forgiven him for, uh, like, basically deleting his girlfriend. Well, storing his girlfriend away from the files. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am to hear that. Okay, everyone. I'd like you to meet the newest members of the Literature Club. And I've got a fun way I'd like to introduce them. Hey, despite all that stressful stuff that just happened, you have enough energy left for one more song. CD beat. Then let's do it. Oh, okay. Two, one, go. Right keys this time, Joe? Reconciliation. Oh man. Oh, it's weird not hearing your voice all, um, I guess pixelated, you can say, or a bit crushed. Yo, you need to press the notes twice. I actually like this Monica voice. God, I'm doing bad. It's weird seeing her be able to move normally as so, well, like, not all, uh, pixelated. God, I'm sorry. I messed that up so much. So there's one more story after this. I'm wondering what's gonna happen now. Like, is Sayuri just gonna be like, huh, enough to bullshit and enough to rhymes. Let's see if you can make it back on time. Just suddenly deletes her and asks her to come back. Oh, dual demise unlocked. Oh, that seems interesting. Yeah, go on, let's play it. This is gonna be tough as balls, isn't it? Oh, I might have to leave this till the end, man. This is... this is tough.
Oh that. I'd do it so bad, I'm so sorry. Eh, press buttons and hope. Right, guess I won't leave that to the end. I guess we just complete it there. Right, let's get back to the story. Ah, oh, it's nice seeing them all on the screen again. The festival. Wait, are we playing? Nah. Wait, are we actually going to play against the MC now? The actual DDLC MC? The one my character's based off of? <gasps> we are! What? So you two must be the other members that Monica and the other girls keep mentioning. They seem to know you quite well, even though I haven't seen either of you at the uh, club meeting before. Well, I guess I did get roped into this whole literature club thing not too long ago. Must have missed when you were around. I'm glad you showed up today, though. Your whole singing thing has the club really inspired. For the school festival later today, they decided to sing live as their club's special uh, activity. Not sure what singing has to do with literature, but everyone seems on board. Can't be upset at it though. I haven't seen Sayori this happy in a while. I haven't had to go out of my way to wake her up for school nearly as much as I do. She's right outside with a happy smile waiting for me, humming happy tunes. But if you guys didn't show up, I would have had to be the one to sing with them. I'm not ready to embarrass myself in front of my peers like that yet. Plus, none of them could even figure out a song they wanted to do at. You think you guys can help them out? Beep. A whole backlog of songs? That should give them all a nice selection to choose from. I'll let them know once they come back from prepping. And I'll see you two tonight at the festival. Oh, so this is the festival, I'm guessing now. Audio's all set up. We're ready to go when you are. Thank you so much for helping us! It's funny seeing you manage all the music tech. Yeah, you're like our own personal MC. <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. Or the ways in one. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if that joke works in translation. Oh, you're gonna go first, Yuri? Um, I found myself particularly immersed in the story of the track I picked. A song of two young lovers who wander into the shady parts of their lively hometown and come face to face with a monster, one ready to exact the will of God upon them, with a chainsaw. Ooh. Even MC in the back is chill or vibing. Uh, I had good rhythm and it's all gone. Who's a Yuri mix? Crucify Yuri remix. Or uh, Yuri mix, sorry. I'm just trying to read the name of the song. This gives me like Halloween vibes. I think this was released before like, uh, well in October obviously, so it would make sense if that uh, lines up. Oh god. But other than that, it kind of goes with Yuri's thing, I guess. Ooh, echoey. Oh god. Panic cells haven't been engaged. My brain cells need to align again. as well they didn't even give MC an actual name which is good it's like it's the show that he's still like meant to be um, uh, unknown we're well, not unknown but like he's meant to be nameless for the story sake god Yuri is shredding up the place and I'm just barely somehow keeping up
God, the... I guess that's meant to be, like, Yuri's voice actor, but I, I don't like how she's laughing. Thank you. 